everybody. This video will show you how to use universal repeater mode to extend wireless signal from bigger router. Here we will connect access point 800 with Vigor 2860. EP800 will be configured in universal repeater mode. So let's log into Vigor 2860 first. Open your web browser and log in to Vigor 2860. Default IP of router is 192.168.1.1. Go to LAN General Setup, LAN 1 Details page and ensure that DHCP server is enabled. Now go to Online Status, Physical Connection to check at least one WAN interface is up and running so that internet access can be checked at later stage once devices are configured. Now go to wireless LAN general setup, enable wireless feature, select mode, select channel, enter SSID name and click OK. Now go to Wireless LAN Security, keep mode as default, enter pre-shared key and click OK. Vigor 2860 is now configured. Let's configure EP800 now. You need to set static IP in your computer to access EP800 as DHCP server is disabled by default. So let's log into EP800. Go to operation mode. Select universal repeater and click OK. Go to LAN general setup. You can set static IP for EP800 here and ensure that DHCP server is turned off so that all IP addresses will be assigned by Vigor 2860 only. After a couple of seconds, refresh the page. Then go to Wireless LAN General Setup. Enable Wireless LAN Uncheck the option Enable to Subnet. Enter SSID. Select Channel. And click OK. Now go to Wireless LAN Security. Select Mode and enter passphrase. This will be the password for Wi-Fi devices to connect to access point. Click OK now. Now go to AP Discovery and click on Scan button. Choose the SSID for Vigor 2860 from the list and click on Select. Now window will pop up where we can enter universal repeater parameters. Select security mode, encryption type and enter passphrase of Vigor 2860. Enter device name. Then click on OK. Access point is configured. It's time for testing now. Let's try to connect Wi-Fi device using SSID of EP800 to verify that universal repeater connection is working. Once Wi-Fi is connected, check internet connection. Let's try to open 
draytech.com.au and it works thank you for watching the video for more information you can go to www.draytech.com.au or you can send us an email on sales at draytech.com.au